you missed it this morning, the Braves did announce Spencer Strider did undergo a brace procedure on his elbow. He will miss the remainder of the 2024 season. Did not have Tommy John surgery, so hopefully a little bit of a quicker recovery, but done for the rest of this year. And CJ, what does that mean? Well, other guys have to step up, obviously. Chris Sale, he becomes even more important, and he gets the start today. And it's a good thing because he has been exactly what the Braves have asked him to be so far through his first two starts. He looks really good. He looks really strong. Exactly what we saw from him at the very end of the season. We're seeing the strikeout rate, the walk rate, the strike rate, how often he's in the strike zone. Really great numbers across the board, and we've seen really good velocity. He has been averaging 95 miles an hour. Pretty impressive for a 35-year-old. Max Meyer, impressive for the Marlins went through the Tommy John he's back now and he looks great so far Ronald had a good game yesterday a lot of different Braves did but Ronald had two hits and a stolen base Ronald scorches it but directly at Bruhan. Bruhan once again in today for a sick Tim Anderson at shortstop now he deals to Ozzy Albies who also had a couple of hits and an RBI yesterday in the air left center field and making the catch is Brian De La Cruz two away. Max Meyer looking for a one two three inning payoff pitch and he oh. comes in and hits Austin Riley and he does it with a change up at 88 miles an hour it still hurts it's 88 miles an hour and Braves first base runner now Matt Olson out towards center jazz drifts back works around the hit by pitch. Marlins come to bat against Chris Sale next. And it is Chris Sale making his third Atlanta Braves start. 14th different season in the big leagues here for Chris Sale. He's been really good through his first two starts so far. We talked about it in the open. He's been in the zone. He's been in the zone with really high velocity sitting at 95 miles an hour with his heater. On a hop poke towards second base for Albies. One up and one down. Bell one for four last night. Couple of strikeouts. Average sub 200. Has a home run and six RBIs. Sale brings home an 0-1. And is hit out toward left field. This one is over the wall. Yeah, wind helping out down the left field line. Solo home run, Josh Bell. Now you just love to see results of some hard work, man. You love to see it pay off. And for Josh Bell, his second home run of the year. So one to nothing Miami and now first baseman Jake Berger. Marlins have another man aboard. This is a walk to Berger. As Brian De La Cruz the left fielder stands in. Reaching for this to the same spot on the left field line that Bell's ball went but this time Kelnick gets to it and makes a spectacular diving grab. What a play in left. Tremendous speed that he has the athleticism. Battling the sun there a little bit as well. That is a great play from Kelnick. And now here's Jazz Chisholm. And he gets a nasty slider to take down Jazz Chisholm. Homer by Bell makes it one to nothing. Max Meyer facing Marcelo Zuna. And boy, has he been hitting the baseball. 11 game hit streak. And guess what? That hit streak bumps up now to 12 games. Longest active streak in Major League Baseball, and it belongs to Marcelo Zuna. Shortstop Orlando Arcia. That's to third for Rivera. Arise. And a double play. Working around that leadoff hit. 1-0 Marlins. Marlins set up with runners on the corners to start the second inning. Now would be a great time for Bethancourt's first hit of the year. <laughs> and Bethancourt is quickly down on three pitches. One away. Bruhan 0 for 3 yesterday. 0 and 1 to Bruhan. Lines it to left and Kelnick had it for a moment and dropped it. Wide throw to second run scores. And Miami has a two to nothing lead. It's just a tough play for any outfielder. Sinking line drive probably will be an error. Brings up a rise. First error for Kelnick of the season. Softly to short. Orlando tags a bag. What a play by Orlando Arcia. And that will end the frame. Now leadoff men being on for Atlanta. That has been the theme. So now with two outs in the top of the third, the batter will be Ozzy Albies. Ozzy down the right field line. Fair ball. All the way to the wall. Travis Darno is stopping at third, but a double for Ozzy Albies. And with two on and two out, Max Meyer not out of the woods yet. Here is Austin Riley. 
And a slider again, and Riley swings through it. So the Braves strand two and still trail by two. And a slider gets Matt Olson. So three strikeouts for Max Meyer. Gives up a hard single up the middle here with two outs. So Harris is aboard. And it extends an opportunity to Orlando Arcia. Popped up in front of the mound. Looks like Berger wants it, and Berger will take it. Meyer through four scores. Jazz Chisholm Jr. leads it off. Jazz a strikeout his first time up. Now four strikeouts total for Chris Sale. And a perfectly placed sinker there to take care of Jazz Chisholm. Now five strikeouts for the lefty. Austin Riley backhands that on a short hop. One, two, three for Chris Sale. On to the fifth. These two pitchers adding up the strikeouts here. 11 between Sale and Meyer. And Acuna's 0 for 2, a ground out and a fly out. Ronald Acuna turns on this, and it's off the wall. Another hard hit ball for the Braves. That one just missed getting out of here. After the double, the one-two pitch, he's able to work out of another little jam and protect the lead. Here's Luis Arise. Pokes it out towards second base. Albie sticks with it. And there was enough air underneath it with Arise running down the line. You know he can smell a hit. Berger lays off a changeup and that missed high ball four and Chris Sale is not happy with Brian Onora. He's barking at him and he's got a he's got a beef here. Sale is hollering at Brian Onora and that last changeup absolutely caught a piece of his own. And hopefully uh, DLC can come up with a big hit right here. Brian De La Cruz rips that one down the left field line. Fair ball and it bangs off the wall. One run is in. Here comes two. Everybody's going to score. Brian De La Cruz clears the deck. Fastball stayed up right in the wheelhouse of De La Cruz, who now has hit in 12 of the 15 games. He's no been doubt. Probably one of the most consistent hitters in this lineup. And no. nothing better than a bases clearing double. Second double of the season, a bases clearing double, and the Marlins have a five to nothing lead. Austin Riley leads off the top of the sixth inning for Atlanta, but it is all Miami. This is going to shoot the gap in right center. It might be another Braves double, or maybe even a triple. Austin's going for three, and the big boy from Mississippi is in there easily. Another strikeout for Max Meyer. That's seven for Meyer. Shell Ozuna, runner at third, one out. Tapper back to the mound. Meyer gets the surest of outs about over that there play. at first base. Really great play. So the Braves on the board. Max Meyer, one run over six innings, and it looks like that's going to do it for him. I mean, that is a great outing for him against any ball club. Calvin Fauche makes his Marlins debut. Shallow center field. Jazz started back, comes in, makes the catch. And Calvin Fauche in his Miami Marlins debut with a perfect seventh inning. And now the last hope for the Atlanta Braves this afternoon is Michael Harris, the second. One, two. In the air, left center field. Jazz ranging. Who's going to get it? I think it was Gordon. Well, it's a Marlins win. And they win at home for the first time in 2024. A 5 to 1 win behind a tremendous performance from Max Meyer today.